today we're going to be working on this dashboard. Got a few repairs I got to make. I'm going to fill in these cracks. I'm going to use some Bondo to fill in these cracks here, there, and there. Um, it's going to go in this two tone, dark and, and light sort of brown. On the main body is going to be the darker brown right here. And I think I'm going to put the lighter brown up here on the, on the rim and the tip. And also, I think, yeah, I'm going to put the, the light color right here inside the vent. And that should turn out pretty good. Well, yeah, let me get to this Bondo. Pop this out. Let me get to the Bondo and then sand it down and we'll get this project started. After the sanding down, I'm gonna use this Sharpie to give myself some reference marks to where I need to, to match up the material to the board and also match up the material to itself. So I'm gonna put a bunch of nick marks everywhere. Draw out the pattern basically. make a pattern. I normally use dust cloth. Some people use clear plastic. I like to use dust cloth because it stretches out a little more than, than stiff plastic. I might not be able to see right through it, but it's a lot easier for me. You just spray it on, glue it on a little bit, stretch it out like it's like it's fine. And I uh, use some chalk or a gel pen to trace out my pattern.
order to pattern these small vents, I like to use masking tape. Uh, just connect all your tape, get a, good, get a good coverage, then draw it out, cut the pattern out, um, and then lay it right on the material and, and cut the material. This is about the simplest way to do a pattern is with tape, masking tape. strip of black material just to cover my French seams the backing I'm end up cutting the salvage out of the end so it won't be so bulky but you need to, you need this extra strip of material at the bottom under that seam so it doesn't split open there's a weak point right there when you split the seams up and also so you can't see through Thank you.
of gluing I like to spray my whole cover and my whole dashboard all at one time some people do portions at a time which seems to be a lot easier if you're not used to using this glue this is contact adhesive so once you stick them together it's over so I do understand why some people do portions but me personally I, I just I spray the whole thing I don't make too much
top and the bottom are pretty much dry enough to where they won't stick without being pushed, like if, unless I put pressure on them. But I will be putting some plastic on just to make sure I don't accidentally smush down on a section I don't need to be doing right now. But the hardest part to get down is this front line, and I, I like to make sure my line is perfect. So I'm going to segregate this line right here and just start with that, that top, top stitch line right there and work my way around the front and then the back. From my experience, the only way to make this work perfectly the, from the way I drew it, you need reference marks. That's why I made those, those little lines and those nicks on the material and the headboard. I mean, excuse me, the dashboard. So that when it came time to glue it down, I wasn't too far over left or right. As you can see, I'm, I'm pulling it, pulling that one seam. I'm just working on that one seam. I'm not working on anything else, just that seam. And I'm lining up those, those nick marks. And I'm keeping my, my stitch line right in the crevice of that of that contour line right there.
frequently you'll see me using the steamer. I prefer to use a steamer over the heat gun because there's no way you can mess up with a steamer. You're not gonna melt the material. I messed up a lot of jobs back in my day using that heat gun. You leave it on too long, you're about to melt something. That steamer, you can leave that steam on all day and it ain't gonna hurt that body.
damn I'm good. Look at that right there. Damn I am good. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about this video. One man shop, all forms of upholstery, cars, boats, motorcycles, uh, everything. Furniture, antique furniture, commercial furniture, anything you think of other than clothes. Don't mind that spot up top. That's just some, some little vinyl clean I didn't wipe off all the way. You know how I didn't see it when I was recording. But that was the only shot I had. I wiped it off.